Nimbus here, and I've got a new massive tutorial for you. I know I've not been doing many tutorials lately, so I thought, you know, most might as well. So, for this nice dark, so, it could be used like just before a drop or even like just in a drop. Just I have to change the alpha a little bit, but could be used for. Pretty much anything, and it's a really nice, dark, gritty sound. So, yeah, let's get on to how to make it. Get new sound out, then other phone one. This is one minute. Sorry. It's can never find the one I need. But this is just taking the mic. That's not. Good God, say. I'm on to cut this out. Being bloody pain. There we go. Yes. So, that one. God knows how to say it. Sorry. Um, then you've got to turn down the pitch down to minus an octave and then the wave position put it there that's my place and then put the amp a little bit up and then change it to what goes into further one oscillator two now on oh wait a minute yeah sorry let me turn that into bend minus slash plus then minus in the octave on SLA2 and bring up the wave position to about there. Intensity just about there. And then yeah, and pretty much just stays the same. And this time it's grown. Yeah. Last time. Wave position, no, 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 no. oscillate through. There we are. Oh no, no, wrong one. Oh, there we go. Oh, Christ, come on. There we go. Deep throat. So, I think this is minus an octave. And then the wave position is about there, and then intensity all the way, and I'm just about there, a bit random. And then minus another octave on modulation, and RM all the way down there. Then on ring mode, you want it to be selected on three phase, you want it to be selected on one, and that's that for that. Then for noise, you want it on me, and then color to go up a bit, amp to stay where it is. Then feedback, you want to turn it on, and you want to bring it up a little bit out there. I oh, and yeah. um, all these, I think, yeah, those two need their filters up to all the way up to one. And then insert, want it to be onto, yep, P sharper. Mm -hmm. Ground one needs to be about here, and the drive there. Insert two, uh, once again. Another one. I can't be asked to say the big name, don't know how you say it. And go here and then the drive. Drives past nine o'clock. Okay, right, uh, um I think that's what's gone just to filter now. So screen. Then cut off on the way about here. Bring this bit up here. And Distance around here, 
screen about them there. And then I'll just build a weapon here. And I need to be dual notch. And the cut off pretty much stays there. Distance here. And that's for those. Now let's go on to effects. Oh, sorry. Uh, classic tube. One more one, sorry about that. Just need to actually get the one. If you want to drive anywhere to be about here. And you drive to be there, just not too far under 9 o'clock. They don't really matter. And you've got your. So it's a dimension expander. Bring that right to 9 o'clock. Just, just a bit below. Size about the same area, just slightly further below. And then turn your EQ on. And then. Oh, come on. There we go. EQ should be a little sharp there. Boost needs to be there. Frequency in the high shelf just pretty much stays the same. At the moment, you would be having. So, not much at all happen around the moment. So then, what we're going to go on now, little 405, and this all the way up there, though it can be just about around here. Um, right here. And then the bending should be bending 1, and then it should be just brought just about there. Yep, seems to be. Well, uh, I'm gonna go strand six, and then we're gonna. I think it will be best to then put them, not drag them all onto each one at the same time. So, LFO six. This is gonna be scan bending one. And this wants to be a hundred percent. Which is the same. The rate needs to be all the way down there. And I think that's it for those LFOs. Yep. There we go. So I'll do voicing before we get them all up. So you just enter six. And then this needs to be dragged. Just about yeah, three lines for the big line. Obviously turn it on, and turn this one on, and that one just stays the same. Oh, I just a bit. Yeah. Let's put this to 11, and then nothing really much at all happening, but then it's the part where we get all the, the LFOs attached. So, start with five. Drag on to this wave position. Drag it all around, about to there. Still not doing too much. And then, get another five. Drag it just to about there. Then, oscillator three, number one. And drag it all around. Then we've got also modulation, which will want six on it. Uh, oh. oh, one minute, sorry. Just realised it needs to be on that. There we go. Now to the feedback. Not that much. And then we've got to go filters. 
cut off on six and screen just a little bit on one side and then photo two and it's a little bit of six as well. So we got this sound. to do so we've got six on this try get that there then boost once six again so drag it just about there there and I mentioned Fender and the what known thing at the moment and you does the classic tube alright so at the moment we've got So once again, not too much is happening. Let's go on to voicing. Around this one, once six. Not too much is happening now, really much at all. So what I'm going to start doing is putting on some. Once again, can't say this word to save my life. But um, right. Start putting the ears on because the ears are what make it so much easier to actually alter when doing the when in Ableton Live or on GarageBand when you're doing automations, it makes it so much easier. And also, the last minute tweaks, it's just so easy just to mess around with these knobs just to make everything sound so much better. So, LFO array. And then we've got curve, LFO, amp, tube, dimension, noise. Spread. Let's use the other photos we've got at the moment. So now let's start putting them on. So first one that needs getting on is on noise. Uh, needs seven, so noise is on. About there. Um, we want it on. On phase six, on the right, we want two on there, so that's on the right. Go on, on that. And um, then what we want is on the filters, so dimension expander, that one's six. Okay, it's about there. And for classic tube, we want last five on that one. And then voicing, we're done now. So voicing once E on it. This one or oh, one. See what else I need. Five, that's the one. Send the rate on five, obviously, once two. And then amp once four. So I fell amp. Can't work because it seems to be some of them. Oh, no, I just see what it sounds like. So, what we need to do now is bring up the LFO rate just a little bit. Oh, no. Starting to bring it a bit louder. Spread needs to be around there. 
tam ich schnell wegpegen. That's it. Sorry, I didn't actually need a cap at all. No. So, that is how to make a nice, dirty, gritty, kind of wobbly rise. Not much wobble in it, but it's, and you can change it from that and just rise it up. Sorry, that was my Just change the moment. No, no, no. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you can just mess around with it to find out what you like doing with it in drops. Um, if you uh, if you don't really want to make this all again, it's a bad thing. Me kind of just telling me you te uh, telling you this now. But I'm gonna go put a link in the description to be able to download and do the presets. Yeah, I uh, kind of should have said that one of the first things. I'll, I'll pull those a little shit cow. Yay. But anyway, uh, um, thank you. Thanks for watching and comment whatever you want me to. Any sounds that you've heard, any of my songs that you want me to do. I know someone's request to do a, a wobble, but do it in a garage band, which it should be made massive. Um, I'm having trouble with making it, <laughs> but I'll, I'm trying my best. So, yeah.